Alright, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to match the styling of the outside with the carbon fiber vinyl that we put on the pillars to the interior. We're just going to do the inside handle so that it doesn't overpower the interior, but it still gives it a nice effect. The items that you are going to need are a heat gun, a squeegee, rubbing alcohol, some rags to wipe down your project, screwdriver, a sharp blade, and your selected vinyl. Alright, so this is the only piece that we're going to be removing right here to add a little bit of the styling from the outside of the vehicle inside without making it look too overpowering. So all you need to do is get a screwdriver, pops loose back here so you want to just pry it in. Make sure you're holding it so you don't mess it up and this is it this is the piece we're going to be doing so just like every time you apply vinyl you need to clean your parts off with alcohol so I'm just going to use a shop towel and a little bit of rubbing alcohol to make sure that I have any contaminants that will affect the wrap wiped off You want to make sure that you get the back sides really well because that's where your wrap is going to be holding on to. A lot of people forget to do the back. All right, so now that we've given our part time to dry, it's completely wiped down, we're going to use the same vinyl that I used on the pillars. It's the Metro Style 4D Carbon Fiber Vinyl. Once again, I have the pattern marked so that everything is going the same direction and you won't have any deviations in the lines in the pattern. What you want to do is you want to end up preheating your part so that it has some surface temperature to it. Let me use my cobalt gun. Post a link to the unboxing. And you want to preheat this part. should be good enough. Next you'll take your vinyl, make sure it's marked the right side, pull it off and slowly set it on. Now you will have to work with this a little bit since it is a contoured piece but it won't be too bad. So what I like to do is get a nice solid straight line where I know it's sturdy And then I work from there.
All right, so here's the finished piece. As you can see, it's nice and smooth on the top. On the sides where you won't really see it, I had a little bit of issues with some of the contours. You need to make really small relief cuts and just slowly work it around. As you can see, I have about six or seven relief cuts right there just to help get this edge nice and tight without overextending it. All that's left to do is put it in. All right, so this is putting it back in. All you gotta do is assemble this front part right up inside. Make sure everything's tucked in. Keep pushing until it clicks. There's the finished product. Nice little accent, not too much. Just enough to make it look decent. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also, subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming projects with this vehicle. Check out some of my other videos by clicking the links around this page. Thanks for watching.